Data Warehouse and OLAP Cube, BI302 2008 and 21 CD ROMs. This is Kalman Toth. This is a brief uh, demo video on Data Warehouse and OLAP. In this lesson, you learn what is a Data Warehouse database, what are dimension and fact tables, the star schema dimensions, measures, and hierarchies, how to browse an OLAP cube from Management Studio, and Excel 2007 as OLAP cube client. SQL uh, USA Business Intelligence Training follows Microsoft uh, Business Intelligence Platform, Integration Services, SSIS for Data transfer and transformation analysis services to manage all app cubes, dimensions, measures, hierarchies, and uh, reporting services is to deliver business intelligence to business intelligence consumers. So let's start. We are in Management Studio. We are connected to four servers. First is a database server. It manages transactional databases such as AdventureWorks 2008, which has uh, transactional uh, tables. What is a transaction? For example, transaction is a sales transaction. It's a purchase order transaction. And all the necessary tables uh, to support the operation of a company. The fictional company is AdventureWorks Cycle, has 291 employees. AdventureWorks DW and AdventureWorks DW2008 are also databases, but these are data warehouse databases. They contain second-hand data, which is derived from the OLTP transactional databases and other sources, such as Oracle Database or Excel Spreadsheet, IBM. DB2 database or access personal database. Even flat file data source can be uploaded into a data warehouse during the ETL process. ETL stands for extract, transform, and uh, load. If we look in AdventureWorks DW 2008, we see dimensions tables, so this is for categorization and we see fact tables. So let's look at the dimension table. This is the product table. So we see some key information and also detail information such as list price, color and uh, size information. If we look at a fact table we see a fact and a key connection to the dimension tables. So these are the foreign keys and somewhere along we can see some facts such as unit price, uh, order quantity, extended amount as well, total product cost and uh, sales amount. If we load the database diagram finance we see the star schema. The star schema is a fact table surrounded uh, by uh, the planets, that's why it's called the star schema, which are dimension tables. So what basically we are talking about is many to one relationships or foreign key, primary key relationships to the dimension tables. If we look in Object Explorer, we see SQL Server which manages the databases including uh, transactional databases, data warehouse databases, reporting services databases. Then we see analysis services, that's a gold cube, which uh, manages all up cubes, uh, dimensions, mining structures, and measures. Integration services is the tool which transfers the data, that's the tool which populates a data warehouse from all different kind of sources. And uh, this is an example for um, a package which uh, refreshes the AdventureWorks DW uh, data warehouse. If we zoom in, and there is a navigator, 
we can go around and check out the package. What we see is SSIS control flow diagram. Adventure WorkCycle is a fictional company invented by Microsoft staff and uh, it's for a demonstration of SQL Server databases as well as uh, reporting services. We are in reporting services in Business Intelligence Development Studio and we are looking at the product catalog. It is also used for analysis services, OLAP Cube demonstration and integration services as well. Let's return to Management Studio and uh, browse a multi-dimensional OLAP uh, Cube. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing and OLAP Cube is a multi-dimensional structure which contains pre-aggregated data based on the dimension and fact tables in a data warehouse. We see on the uh, left hand side the metadata area. Let's select a particular measure group uh, such as internet uh, sales. So now we only see the measures and the related dimensions as opposed to seeing all the dimensions and all the measures in the super cube. So for uh, measure is measure is what we can sum up or we can average, we can total internet sales amount. We drop into the data area. We can select now dimensions or dimensional hierarchies to drop into the column area and the row area. So let's do that. For uh, columns, we can select calendar, date calendar hierarchy, and instantly it becomes a drill down hierarchy. And for rows, we can select the product hierarchy, product categories. So we see the data is distributing immediately. This is the beauty of all our cubes. Most of the answers we see here are pre-calculated. That's the beauty of OLAP Cube, millions of answers waiting for our questions. And this is a drill down hierarchy, dimensional hierarchy, where we can drill down to analyze the data at a lower level. When we are finished with the analysis, we can drill up. Well, this is in Management Studio. This is for uh, database developers, business intelligence developer, DBAs. But how about the end user? How an end user can access an OLAP Cube? Well, a popular client for OLAP Cube uh, access browsing is Excel. We click on data, get external data from sources, analysis services, Dell Star. Next. Adventure works. Finish. Yes. We are in pivot table reports. Let's select uh, reseller sales. So now we see the measures, reseller measures and related dimensions. So let's select for measure reseller sales amount and drop it into the values. So this is the data area. Let's scroll down and select the date dimension. This is the date hierarchy for rows. Let's uh, proceed and find another dimension for the columns. Product categories, that's a nice dimension. And we drop to columns. We can filter the report also. We just have to find a dimension for filtering. How about reseller type? That uh, sounds like something we may want to filter when we are analyzing the data. So now we have uh, created an instantaneous cross tab or matrix report or pivot table report. Well, basically we are analyzing the data uh, according to two dimension or dimensional hierarchies. Naturally, we can drill down and uh, drill up. It's, it is a multi-level hierarchy and similarly for the date hierarchy. This is the end of the demo.